What are you at? Today on Old Man Murphy's Kitchen, I'll be wearing a sailor hat. Yep. It's early. Coffee. Mm. Right. Today we're going to be making Egg in the Hole and reviewing the movie Repulsion. Mm. Well, since standing around with my thumb up my ass, let's get to it, shall we? Ingredients! Ah. Margarine or butter. Bread. I'm using white bread. You can use whatever bread you want. Again, not your fucking life coach. Eggs. And a plate and a fork. Because we're not complete savages. First things first. Put your margarine in the pan. Get off the fucking dirt! Take your slice of bread. And uh, give it like give it like a pinch with your fingers and just like a kung fu movie. Should I was deadly? And just tear a hole in it like that. And then you take this little bit and then you just chuck it. Preferably in your trash can and not uh, the floor. Because again, we ain't sandwiches here. Drop in your bread. Crack your egg. Get an egg in there. Booyah! Egg in the hole. Egg in the hole, because you put an egg in the hole. Flip it. Oh, yeah. Oh, smush it. And then a the little bit of egg that kind of spurts up there, you just wipe it around. Gives it its own little egg wash. Follow me for more brilliant cooking. Repulsion is a psychological horror film from 1965, directed by Roman Polanski. It's also a good movie to review during Mental Health Awareness Month. The film follows a young French woman that lives in England uh, who has undiagnosed mental health issues. And this movie is decades ahead of its time. Decades. And it's all thanks to Catherine Deneuve. Catherine Deneuve deserves her own award I mean like one in her honor. Like the Catherine Deneuve Achievement Award for Outstanding Excellence in Acting. Based on this fucking role alone. It's, I, I can't even put, I can't even put it into words, mind shattering to me how good of an acting job she does, especially for its, for its day, light years ahead of its time. Yeah, she plays this character named Carol who has undiagnosed mental health issues, which is not exactly a shock considering it's the 1960s. It's only within the past few years people have started to get diagnosed and treated properly for mental health issues. I mean, in the 1960s, might as well be the fucking Stone Age when it comes to mental health. Everything about that role, the way she talks, the way she walk, like the way she walks, the way she focuses on certain things and just stares at them. But then like, it's, it's kind of like all of her issues are starting to come to a boil and she starts having hallucinations and ridiculous nightmares and it gets to a point where she doesn't know what's a dream, what's reality, and everything kind of comes to a head. I cannot recommend this movie enough. It is mind-bendingly amazing. Some of the effects in that film are actually, they hold up to today's standards. Like they're actually pretty good. Holy shit. Beautifully shot. I love this film. Love it. On a scale of 10, I'd give it a solid nine. Because, well, let's face it, the Foley's a bit shit. All right, isn't it? But, I mean, that's just, you know, it was the 60s. Yeah, it's to be, that's to be expected in, like, pretty much every movie from that era. For those of you who don't know what I mean by Foley, I mean, like, footsteps. Someone's wearing sneakers, and they're walking on grass, and it sounds like high heels on concrete. Shit like that. But, the Foley isn't bad for the whole movie. It's just a scene or two where you're all, whew. Probably one of my favorite performances by a female actress to date. That's just my opinion, but she crushes it. Crushes it! 
Oh yeah, it's getting nice and golden brown there now. You'll probably notice there's a plate back there with one already on it because I, uh, I decided to make two because I'm hungry. I don't need to explain myself to you. Get out of me. Sure is looking pretty deadly. There's no wrong way to do this. Well, there is if you like burn it or like put the egg outside the hole because then it's not an egg in the hole, is it? It's just egg and bread with a hole in it. Should I ask best kind? Booyah! Turn that off. Don't want to burn your fucking house down. Right. Let's eat. And there's only one thing left to do is eat up. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm using maple syrup. I ran out of the stuff I had in a bottle, so now it's just using the these little packets I got from somewhere else. You ran out of maple syrup? Who runs out of maple syrup? Mr. Murphy, your Canadian is showing. Let's go. Mmm. Fuck me, that's good. Oh, man. That's really good. Mm. Fuck me running. Quick, easy, takes fuck all time to make. And you're eating like royalty. Fuck me, that's good. Gabby. Oh, my coffee's getting cold. That was lovely. Lovely grand. Shout out, the Z Network and everything affiliated with the Z Network. Crimson Clover Studios, or what's her sturdy? Any last words? Ramblings of a Madman? Uh, we'll be back eventually. Until then, I'm gonna cook shit and talk shit. Well, not talk shit, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Like, subscribe, leave me a, leave me a comment. There's a very good chance I will respond to you rather quickly. Got any requests? Any movies, books, or even fucking food? You wanna see me try and make holler at your boy? Wanna ask a question? Fucking give her biggies. Give her biggies! For real, shoot me a fucking email. Give her biggies at gmail.com. Not even kidding. That is the email you can reach me at. Yes. See ya!